Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya, also known as Tantive Makeup. And if you're new here, I post about mainly beauty related content, makeup, skincare, perfume and hair and all that jazz. So I hope you guys can join my family, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, like and comment if you enjoyed this video, it really helped me out. As you can see by the title, today we're going to be doing a makeup organization video and it is about time and let me tell you my makeup is getting a bit out of hand and i just don't know where everything is i've got a little bit over here a little bit over there a little bit over here a little bit over there and it's just been a hot mess so i'm just really excited to actually finally get my life in order and hopefully use my makeup to its full advantage rather than it just you know staying in boxes and never using it really I really like to watch these kind of videos and I just thought it'd be really cool to make one and hopefully you guys can get some ideas, gain some inspo from my organisation video and yeah, maybe use it for your own. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. Okay, so here's an overview of my mirror. Oh, and there's me. Top to bottom. Okay, let's take a closer look. So these are, which I'm sure most of you probably already know, are the infamous IKEA Alex Five Jewels, which literally everybody and their mum, their auntie, and their grandma has on YouTube if they're in the beauty world. And uh, I followed suit and went and grabbed some for myself because they're just so handy. So yes, yeah, these are the Alex drawers, and then I've got the table top to match. I'll link everything down below so you can you can purchase it for yourself. I've got um, a purple stool, which is in theme with my room, if you haven't already noticed. Okay, so let's go on to my dresser. On my dresser, it's very simple and plain. I don't keep anything on it, which I love. I just love it like just simple and plain like this. I don't like to have too many things stored on it because I feel like I'll just be tempted to just add more things as I go along. So starting from this side, I've got um, one of my favorite perfumes, which is the Christian Dior Jasmine. Um, and then I've got this crystallized candle holder behind it. My brushes, um, I've got everyday makeup brushes on this side which are like my eyeshadow brushes and I've got a bunch of different sets which I haven't used yet back there. Make sure this goes back perfectly. There we go, lovely jab blade. And then on here I've got um, some more brushes, which I've got, I think these are from, from Raw Techniques. And then I've got mirror, which I use to do like my eyeshadow looks and stuff. It's really handy. I'll have, link this down below as well. I think it was from Amazon. And I've got candle burning because I always have a candle burning. Just sets the sets the mood, creates a nice ambience as you do. <laughs> and then I've got more brushes here, everyday face brushes, and then I've got some oval brushes which I haven't used yet um, that were gifted to me. So I just turn the light on. It has three different settings: cool tones, like a bluey tone, and like a yellowy tone. So it's quite cool. And that's basically an overview of my vanity. Cute, right? Okay. So these are the dividers that I purchased from Amazon. I will link the link down below in case you wanted to buy them for yourself. They are really, really affordable. They cost about, I think, £7 or something for the whole packet, which comes in a packet of 60 You basically can just make your own organisers. It just gives you the freedom and flexibility to just... Um, tailor your jaws as you wish you know to your own personal preference and i've got it in pink i think it comes in pink white uh, and green it's so cute i just thought it spruced it up a little bit so yeah so just measure it up there and then measure up here so what i've been doing is i've been cutting the last three off can you see so the last three off or you can maybe cut off the last four um, um sorry the, the last two and then squeeze it in there but I think that would just bend it. So, yeah, I've been cutting off the last three. And, yeah, so I'll show you what I do. Okay, so this is my foundation drawer. And I'm really excited because it looks as if I don't have 
as much makeup as I thought I did or at least as much foundation as I thought I did which just makes things much easier for me I know it sounds crazy I never thought the day would come where I'd be <laughs> just as excited to not have makeup as I do to have makeup I'm a weird gal I'm no longer keeping makeup just for the sake of it so everything I have in my drawers especially now that I've bought these drawers and organized and everything it's only going to be things that I actually use. So anything that I don't use, I'm not just keeping it for the sake of it. I'm giving it away. I've already decluttered. And this makes me happy. Because you can always add to your collection, right? But when you have lots of stuff and you're trying to find space for it, you can't always find a place to store it. So I'm really happy about this. But hey, let's get on to the organisation. I'm loving how it's looking already, like everything's so organised. I can see what foundations I have by looking at the tops of the lids. So that's pretty easy for me to find. Yeah, so I've got my foundations in this order and I'm going to probably put my um, my serums, serums? Yeah. So my primers on this side, my foundations on this side. So I found another primer and I'm pretty sure I've got more foundations. So I'm going to do another... Um, column column row <laughs> i'm gonna do another um row of foundations and then um a concealer a primer jesus christ a primer on the end uh so i just thought i'll show you so yeah just cut it to size and then it's really easy the dividers have two sections so they have long way up and short way up so make sure well depending on how you want it actually but I want it to all fit in um seamlessly so I usually do can you see the long way up yeah can you see that so the longer slits are facing upwards and then the inserts the long ways will be facing downwards does that make sense so this section here will be facing downwards and then on the bottom it faces upwards yeah I don't want it too high because that's the way I like it when my products show, if that makes sense. So it just depends on um on really what look you're going for. So yeah, it's pretty easy. So just a uh, count and row. So there's four sections to a to a section. One, two, three, four. So then you go one, two, three, four. So then you just insert the dividers and match up the slits together. And then you just pull it down and then voila. And it just fits in seamlessly that's how you do it i don't quite know what i'm gonna do with this section yet but for now i've got all my foundations um in the first three rows and a few there and i've also got my primers along here which i just think looks really pretty i've got some concealers at the back and yeah so i just don't know what i'm gonna fill this up with i think i should do setting spray i think setting spray will just tie in nicely i've got space for two other foundations if i want to fit them in there because i probably might eventually that down the line will have more so next i'm going to do my compacts and i'm really excited about organizing this area in particular so i want again for all my products to be standing up just so i can get to everything okay let's begin so i've measured up my products and i've done it in sections of three so yeah best to just count and see what you want so i've done Three by three by one, two, three, four, five, six, so six by threes. And I count one, two, three. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> and then voila, it just fits in perfectly. I was going to organise it via product type. So I was going to do blushes, bronzers, powders, uh, highlighters, but that just didn't work out. So now I'm doing <laughs> organisation by shapes. So square compacts, circle compacts. Oh dear, and a big compacts. Um, as I said, just play around with it until you get into your own room. I'm not sure. I might even change it again, to be fair. But this is currently where I'm at. I just think it makes sense. So it's coming along really nicely. So I've got my pressed powders at the front, 
these two are bronzers and then these six are highlighters and these are bronzers and then these are blushes i know it seems like it's all over the place but i know like by looking at it what i can reach for and this looks so much better i've got these two mac um blushes this one i've lost the lid but i think it's somewhere within my mess um so when it pops up i'm gonna put it on there but i'm gonna try and slide two i don't know if it'll fit yes perfect Oh, that's so good. So two of these fit in there. I mean, most of these blushes. Because this is a whole blusher section. So all these little mini ones can fit in. That's perfect. Here we are. And I love how they've turned out. It looks so organised. And I'm so happy because I can see everything. When everything's piled on top of each other, that's where I really struggle to find my products and actually know what I've got in my collection. So this is great. I love how it looks. It's very physically pleasing. And yeah, just much more organised. Okay, so this is now my lipstick collection. And it looks absolute filth. I know it just looks a hot mess. But this is why we're doing this organisation video, right? Just to get things in order. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how to organise it if you wanted to do a lipstick section which will be look so cute um so just do the two by two to make the squares but as you can see you'd need quite a few dividers and i don't have that many if i was to do that then i definitely have i definitely would run out and wouldn't be able to do all my other sections so you could do that but just make sure you order enough but to be fair my lipstick game is not that strong <laughs> so i don't need to but if your lipstick game is hella strong and you've got so many lipsticks then by all means then you can just divide it square by square so i've got this into some kind of order so whilst organising my collection, I realised that I've actually got quite a lot of liquid lipsticks, which is quite annoying because I don't really wear liquid lipsticks. I've kind of gone off liquid lipsticks. I go through phases and right now I'm just more into lip glosses. And to be fair, I'm just really into like a nude lip. A nude lip, a little bit of lip liner and I'm good to go. Like I don't even really wear lipsticks that much. But um, hey, so I've got my lipsticks here. Um, few... MAC ones, NYX, Charlotte Tilbury, and I've got my um, nude lipsticks here, pinks, browns, and nudes, and then I've got like the bright lipsticks, like I've got a grey one here, purple one, um, for example, so I'm just going to keep it separate like that, I'm going to probably keep lip pencils in here, and lip pencils, I don't even have a lot of lip pencils to be fair, but I guess I could, you know, add to my collection over time. I've got these liquid lipsticks that were sent to me by Pop Beauty, which I believe is a sister company for Pixie Beauty. And they're so pretty, like the packaging. And so I might display them on my dresser, I'm not sure yet, or I might keep them here. But to be completely honest, and to keep it 100, I don't like them at all. Um, I don't think I'd wear them. Like, they're just not for me. They're just not particularly good quality lipsticks. So yeah, they're. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't have kept them. But I do like them because they look really pretty. So as I said, I'm going to display them somewhere. So I've got them to one side now. And this is filling up pretty nicely, isn't it? I've got um, good old, good old Vas. <laughs> good old Vaseline. And I'm going to keep all my lip balms and, yeah, lip therapy treatments and probably lip scrubs here. And then I'm going to keep lip liners here. Which, although it might be like two because I really do not have much lip liners. But hey as i said i'm gonna add to my collection see what i mean i found one <laughs> lip liner from mac and it's actually one of my favorite ones chicory chicory yeah chicory uh yeah it's a really really like, lovely like brownish nude color yeah it's perfect so yeah one little lip liner boop there we go oh two yeah here's another one boop there we go okay guys so next i'm going to move on to my eye collection so a few eyelashes and just you know my eye products that i use so i've got a few um glitters in here a few pigments uh brow gel brow um products and all that good stuff Thank you. That's it. 
Okay, so I finished organising. I'm going to give you a quick run through of the drawers and how it's turned out. So the first drawer, compacts, and I'm really happy with how this turned out. This think it looks so organised. It looks really neat. And yeah, I can see where everything is. Second drawer is my everyday stuff. So as you can see on the right, I've got some sponges um, and I've got some of my lip gloss. Oh, you know what? This is just not in an ideal order, but um, it works for me because I will reach in this drawer the most. So I've got like face palettes and stuff that I use. I've got sponges. Um, some of my favourite lip glosses, some mascaras that I use daily, foundations, highlighters, my Anastasia dip bar that I use all the time, and just a few bits and bobs. So the third one is the foundation drawer, which I love again. Um, some of my favourites, Fenty Beauty, um, Giorgio Armani, Luminous Silk. Yes, they're Lord of Double Wear. I've got quite a few, but they're like my favourites at the moment. Um, what else? Oh, for drugstore, Maybelline 24 Hour Classic. Can't go wrong. I've got some setting sprays there. Um, my Morphe, of course, which I use a lot. Concealers, um, contour. And I've got loads of like foundations back here as well. And some setting sprays at the back. Draw number four, that rhymes, draw number four is my lipsticks. So I've got some Max at the front, some random lip glosses there. Um, I've got some like coloured lip glosses that I got from um, Impulse Cosmetics, like some like, mini ones, they're so cute, that like, I keep here. And also these lip colours. I keep there. I've got my lipsticks, my liquid lipsticks, nudes and colours, my lip balms, Vaseline's, and then my lip pencils as well. Lip liners. At the very end, I've got my palettes. Um, yeah, this is not in any particular order. I just kind of like stood it up so I can see. Um, and then I've got some at the back, which I can't see, but hey. I didn't have much space, but these are all the palettes that I've kept and palettes that I genuinely love and use. So, yeah, I've only actually got one drawer of palettes, which is crazy because I thought I'd probably have two. But, yeah, this works for me. So I've just put my palettes not in any particular order, just probably by size again. OK, so let's move on. So now we're on the other side. So the top drawer. Da, da, da. This is one of my favourites. Oh, my God, I love it so much. So... Here is my eye drawer. So on this side we have glitters and then on this side we've got liners and like pencils and that kind of stuff. Um, loads of different brands um, and yeah, ones that I use regularly. I've got mascaras here but I'm probably going to need to... What are you doing there? You belong here. Probably going to need to find more space because it's already getting packed up. I've kept some in my everyday, but um, here's getting pretty full. But some of my favourites, the two benefits, Bad Girl Bang, they're real. L'Oreal Telescopic, which is a classic. I really, really like using this. This one I've not used yet. It's the Maybelline, the Falsies Lash Lift. I'm yet to try this. This is absolutely filth. I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, here, I've got my um, eyebrow products. So... I've got my Anastasia in my everyday drawer, but I've got a load of um, benefits, benefit brow products. So the 24 hour brow setter, the Gimme Brow, the Club Brow, um, the Precisely My Brow, <laughs> um, and then the Gimme Proof. So I've got like a whole load of benefit products. I've got the, the Wonder Brow gels, um, some Sleek. I've got a few different ones here, some Barrier, Maybelline. Yeah, just the whole works of brow products. In here, I've got, on this side now, I've got some eyelashes that I'm yet to try. Eyelash glue, which I keep in this little pot. Oh, I've also got um, some individuals underneath there. Handy. So yeah, put these in there. Here, I've got this little surprise. Um, 
which is from nowhere else but Amazon of course so let's plop this on here so we can have a good look at it so this is an eyelash book isn't this handy um I just love it it's just so convenient and it's just like just reduces the amount of space that I'm taking with the eyelash boxes as you can see from my storage like I'm running out of space and I just think this is just so convenient just to keep it um and if only they had like one on this side one on this side then I wouldn't have to keep the boxes I could just store it all in one case these are the ones that I've managed to salvage <laughs> because I did blogging I've basically written the brand names on the left and I've written the um, name of the eyelashes on the right just so when I'm wearing them and I'm doing looks then I can just post the brands as well because obviously if you're blogging and you just pull it on here you're not going to like remember what lashes are what so this is what I thought would just be like you know quite convenient for me to do uh yeah so I've got a few different ones here some lily lashes Isla Ardell and yeah just a few bits and bobs the rest of them I can't quite figure out what they are but hey I'll just wear them and yeah so anything I buy now I think I'll just transform it onto here to be fair I don't think I need to really keep the packaging because I just don't have the space for it right now moving on to the second drawer ah. you know what's funny yeah I've organized this yeah but I can't quite remember what's what where's where who's who where I've put all my stuff basically like it's so it's like a lot of surprise to me as I'm doing this video. Like I'm like looking at it all over again. It's all new. I've just done this recently. So I'm still like getting into the hang of it. But this is a pixie drawer. I just thought pixie deserved a drawer. You know, pixie have been very kind to me over the years and sent me loads of products. And I'm just really, really grateful. Um, I do I do use the products, but I just love to keep it in, in the packaging. So I've just got a bunch of um, different things here that I've been sent. Yeah, I just think pixie deserves its own drawer. You know, loads of loads of goodies. Um, I think that's actually it for makeup. You know, I don't think I've got anything else. Um, but I'll just show you a, a quick peek of other drawers, just in case you know you might be interested in seeing it. This drawer is products that I've been gifted or sent in PR, but I just wouldn't use, or maybe you have bought myself. Um, things that I have like double of that I just don't. I just know I'm not gonna keep. I don't want to keep things just for keeping things sake at the moment. I just, you know, don't have the space for it and the patience for it. <laughs> so I'll just pull it in one place, do host giveaways, maybe give it as presents or give it to friends who will have use out of it. So just like a bunch of stuff. This is in my recent um, giveaway. It's live on my Instagram at, at the moment. Do follow my Instagram if you aren't already um, because I do host regular giveaways on there if you aren't interested in receiving any of these products. For example, like, you know, tanning mousse I just won't use some hair products um benefit there for I've got like I've got that already I've got a few of them um what's this oh brush sanitizer oh I might be able to use that actually <laughs> why is that in there um yeah just like some like foundation like that isn't my color like so I wouldn't be I wouldn't use it um what else yeah, i just got like a bunch of like i don't know random stuff in there and some of them are just like stuff that are just like minis that you know i just thought would be cute to like give away if i want to do like a little like goodie bag or something like like the cocoa butter so yeah this is basically what's in this drawer like loads of just you know goodies and stuff to give away basically so the fourth drawer is body products um so most of my body products are actually out in my bathroom or stored away in my bedroom that I use like daily. These are just extras. So when I run out, then I reach into this drawer and top myself up. So yeah, just like some soap, shower gels, lotions, body scrubs, hand stuff. Yeah, that's it basically. And then the last drawer, it's just not interesting to be fair. It's just like hair products, um, some shampoos, some combs, blah, blah, blah. It's not interesting. <laughs> but that's about it, guys. So just as I was filming this video i got a knock on the door from the delivery guy and to my surprise i got a parcel from dubious place which i'm really excited about and i thought it would be cool if i gave you guys a sneak peek and we've done an unboxing during this quick video so let's do that now it's hard to do this with one hand i'll tell you I love Cubius Place, man. Like, literally, like, they are the goat of eyeshadow palettes. Like, they make, like, the most pigmented eyeshadow palettes 
Ella. Wahala, no wahala, no wahala, no wahala, no wahala, no wahala. Oh, so cute. Lip glosses and an eyeshadow palette. So cool. I'll give you a sneak peek. If you guys want to see full swatches, make sure you go into my Instagram. That's the end of the video, my loves. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for part two because I'm going to be reorganizing my skincare collection. Bye.